Welcome back everybody here on the back porch. Still having fun with the Blackstone pizza oven. Today we're gonna make a pizza. And I'm gonna call this the sort of Neapolitan pizza. I'm using my Blackstone 22 inch Pro Series as a little prep station here today. I've got a quick rise New York uh, dough recipe here. Uh, Blackstone has a couple dough recipes on their website and this is the quicker version and of course that's what I'm all about so we're just gonna go ahead and I am NOT a pizza making expert we're gonna make this out into a what I would call like a medium pizza I guess about a medium pizza and this is thin I have not done any thick pizzas yet. Family has definitely been eating a lot less carbohydrates the last couple of months. There we go, something like that. A little bit of semolina flour down on the bottom, which of course helps to get the pizza on and off the pizza peel. And the Delalo pizza sauce, Delalo baby, just like me, born in Pennsylvania. Now with a true Neapolitan pizza, they use fresh balls of mozzarella. You can see I like these here. They're marinated in all those spices. I cut mine in half because I like it to melt a little more. And so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a few of these half pieces on here. Okay, so think about this just like you would, I guess, a traditional Neapolitan pizza, only I'm gonna augment mine a little bit with some shredded mozzarella. And because I can do whatever I wanna do, I'm just gonna sprinkle a tiny bit of shredded mozzarella on there. See what I'm talking about? And almost a sort of Neapolitan pizza. <laughs> Shout out to my subscriber, George Boscovich. Visited me on tour this year. He owns produce ranches in California. He sent me a massive case of produce, including the organic baby spinach. Not washed once, not washed twice, but triple washed. Thank you so much to George. And I do not speak fluent Italian, but these are thinly sliced Campari, Campari tomatoes, something like that. And I think these are gonna be really, really nice on this pizza here. And last but not least, the Blackstone Limited Edition Tutto Italiano. This was a, a little release that came out for the holidays last year. Pizza oven is blazing hot. Gonna grab my, sort of, my almost Neapolitan pizza. We're gonna shimmy this with the help of that semolina flour straight onto my stone. Been about one minute, we're gonna take a quick look at the pizza to see where we're at. Looking beautiful. I'm gonna shove it back in there. And uh, lots of people keep asking about the door. Hey, if you want to, go ahead. I don't like a particularly burned pizza, but you can definitely put the door on there while you're cooking if you want to. I just caution you to make sure you take some peeks at it if you don't want your pizza burned. We'll take a peek at that pizza. And of course, I'm always paranoid because I don't want to burn this thing to a crisp. Uh, look at that. The bottom is just about perfect. Let's put that back in there for maybe another 30 seconds or so. I guess we could use the door. For all the folks out there have been dying and begging me to use the door. There's the door. It's been about 30 seconds or so. Let me check it out. Now friends, this is where we might have to agree to disagree. That's the way I like my pizza crust to look. I want the bottom to look like that, to have really good color on it, but I don't like the top being burned. That's what I want my pizza to look like. Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh my goodness. It looks so good. I'm gonna go down with some fresh 
shavings of basil or some shavings of fresh basil. I guess it depends on how you want to wear that. And I love Asiago. So we're going to put just a little bit of Asiago on there. Take a look at that. Let's cut this pie. Oh yes, I can hear. Mm, I can hear that crunchy crust. Uh, friends, I think this is the seventh or eighth pizza that I have made in the brand new Blackstone pizza oven and I'm blown away. Um, I had the original. I was the first person that used the original Blackstone patio oven. By the way, this is not a replacement for the original. This is a brand new one. Blackstone is back in the pizza game. They chose to start with this one that works in conjunction with a 22 inch griddle. But man, look at that. That's the way I want my pizza to look. I like it to be soft, okay? I like color on the bottom, but I don't like a stiff cracker crust. Delicious. This might be my favorite pizza that I've made so far in this pizza oven. And I made some good ones too, but this one just looked amazing and it tasted amazing. So this is probably gonna be here on my channel. Uh, make sure you're watching all my friends, all my coworkers over at blackstoneproducts.com and Blackstone Social Media. We're getting ready to go back on the road with the Griddlemore Tour, so I hope to see it. Uh, check this out. My family originated from the Punxsutawney area. Got this on one of my trips to Pennsylvania back in the day. So friends, that's all there is to it. I appreciate you watching. I'm loving cooking in the Blackstone Pizza Oven. Until next time, praise the Lord and pass the almost, the sort of, Neapolitan pizza.